Welcome back to Business I Am. My name is Simba Elijah Charles Kiyage. Guess what? You can find us on YouTube, Metropole TV Kenya, Facebook, Metropole TV Kenya. We are live on those two. And you can also get us hashtag Business I Am. That is on Twitter at Metropole TV Kenya. I am a Charles underscore Kiyage. Let's not forget talking about what it is that we have tabled for you this morning. Now, if you've been watching Business I Am, then you're going to realize that we have a special focus on the success of entrepreneurs. And we're looking, enterprises, sorry, and entrepreneurs, good? And we're looking at the various ways in which enterprises and entrepreneurs grow as a business. And if you realize, we've been talking about brands as opposed to businesses. Now, this morning, we want to table a conversation about digital marketing. And we want to align it with social media and also understanding the intricates or the intricacies, sorry, that you need to understand well to come up with this good digital marketing plan. This morning, I am joined in the studio with Daniel Maivia. He is the founder of Royal Trendia Agency. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Always a pleasure to have you around. Pleasure. Anyway, I just want us to, before we get to talking about what your company does, how you've seen yourself grow into this sort of space. I want us to understand, therefore, mm -hmm. what is digital marketing and what does an entrepreneur or an enterprise need to understand when they get into this space? Uh, digital media marketing is a uh, use of digital media platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, we have uh, the digital media platforms yes. and the social media platforms. Social media platforms are under digital media. Mm -hmm. It's a part of digital media. So digital media marketing is use of digital media platforms to market your product and services. Remember, they are online platforms. Yes. Mm -hmm. So these are things like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, yes. Snapchat. Uh, we have um, the SMS, yes. the um, online polls and all that, mm -hmm. uh, online quorums. Yes. So those are platforms whereby you can market your products and services. So when we're talking about digital marketing, therefore, it's pretty much taking your business online, isn't it? Yes. Using social media and digital platforms. Using social media and digital media platforms, mm -hmm. whereby these are free platforms. What yes. you need, you need just need a smartphone, mm -hmm. you need um, a laptop, yes. uh, just a computer with an internet connection. Mm -hmm. Then go sign up for uh, on each and every social media platform. Yes. But remember, the, you need to know uh, where do you get your audience? You're having a product here that you want to market. Yes. You don't just go post anywhere. Some products perform well on Instagram more than Facebook. Some products perform very well on Twitter than on Facebook. Yes. So you need to understand where are my audience uh, mostly? What time do they engage online? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, and I, I, I today but we're going to talk specifically on mm. these uh, platforms, and I've got a special interest on Facebook and Instagram, mm. and we're, go we're going to come back and know exactly how it is that you're supposed to push your product okay. to WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. But I just want you to answer me this question before we get there. Therefore, since you launched your company, since you started your company, mm -hmm. and you've spoken to a lot of individuals, to a lot of businesses, what do you think most of the businesses in the country lack when it comes to? advertising through digital media? Um, I think uh, lack of knowledge on the best avenues to yes. advertise. Yes. Best avenues. So, uh, and also the, the best way to advertise. Anyone can go and advertise on Facebook mm -hmm. for as little as 300 shillings. Yes. Maybe for two days or three days. Uh, maybe going for uh, 100 shillings per day for three days. But then you need to know what settings do I need what targets do I need to put uh, when I'm setting for mm -hmm. uh, when I'm setting my advert yes. on Facebook, mm -hmm. so that you reach the right audience? If you are running an e-commerce uh, 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 website, you're selling products online. You need to know when I'm placing an advert on Facebook, what do I need? How can I do the retarget marketing such that someone visited uh, my website? Uh, let me. Uh, someone visited my website which is selling products online where you order and the products, product is delivered to you. How do I make that person, when they log into their Facebook page, they can be able to see my product as well? Yes. You see? Mm -hmm. So those are the, some of the key things people need to understand. Mm -hmm. So 
uh, I think most of the companies, most of the, most of the brands lack the knowledge on how to advertise, best advertise. You spend maybe 5,000 shillings, 10,000 yes. shillings, mm -hmm. but then at the end of the day, you, uh, the Facebook post that you, put, uh, you paid for, it's getting maybe 500 likes, no calls, no comments yes. or inquiries, mm -hmm. no inbox yes. to inquire about a product or about service. Product so service. You just mm -hmm. got likes and you know, uh, you spend, there's no return on investment. Yes. So it's just, you need to understand how do you uh, place your adverts on Facebook, Instagram, on Twitter, so that you get a return on investment. All right, Daniel, let's therefore get into it. And this is exactly what this conversation therefore becomes very interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody will tell you that everybody is now on social media. Digital media is the way to go. Yes. Nice. Even old, old media is actually now on digital media. And th th there's that convergence that's really good that everybody talks about. Let's therefore start with Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I want us to get deeper to this level, <coughs> Daniel. Mm -hmm. Let's pick a business now, Fum. And I know you've really looked at majority of the businesses that go on Instagram to advertise their products, and they're sure. paying also to get their products visibility. But at the end of the day, probably they don't do it right, or they're doing it right. Mm -hmm. Even marketing a pen, mm -hmm. and I've had Facebook and Instagram to go into, where would you advise me to go to, and what sort of ad do you want me to create for both of these platforms? That's for Instagram and Facebook. Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, this is how you do it. Um, we have different content formats. Yes. So you need to understand. Um, just like people used to use a traditional way of advertising, mm -hmm. but now they are using social media yes. to advertise. Even the media houses, they are advertising for their clients on their social media platforms. You need to understand what content format works best for a certain product. We have different content format. We have video, we have text, we have graphics, infographics. We have, um, um, I've said text, video, yeah. mm -hmm. and also images. You need to do a recording, a small advert uh, in, uh, in form of video. So which works best? Is it, uh, do I need to bring an, an influence on board on that video clip? If um, a video clip is the way to go for my product. Mm -hmm. Do I need to bring an influencer to talk about, about my product, yes. record that, then post on Instagram, then pay for it. So you need to understand, if I'm marketing a pen, um, perhaps it would perform better if I do a photo. Yes. A photo which captures audience of between maybe ages 18 to 35. Yes. Because also mm -hmm. you need to, to, to know which audience are you targeting. Are they between 18 to 35? Mm -hmm. Is it between uh, 25 to 45? Yes. Is it between 13? Because Facebook, uh, most of the social media platforms limit people to, you can sign up if you're not 13 and above. Yes. So you need to know the audience I'm targeting, what are the ages, you see? So you can create um, a poster to market your product, but then is it catchy to the youth? Mm -hmm. If you're targeting the youth, what colors to use? What style of? Uh, of advert are you going to use? Because yes. whatever will uh, what will whatever will attract uh, an older person will not attract a youth. A youth will see that poster and ignore. But then, if you design a, a good poster targeting a youth with a a, a a style that targets youth, they'll most probably like it and also inquire mm -hmm. your product. They might have interest in your product, but then if the image is poorly done they want to buy into your idea. Yes. Also consistency. Are you consistent in posting? Yes. So the more you post, the more you build trust yes. with your audience. Because for me, uh, I, I may see someone posting on a uh, Facebook group, uh, maybe Group Kenya or Sokoni, Sokohuru. They are saying that they're selling this and this. So I can't buy on the first day they posted. I need to be convinced every day i need to be convinced that this you don't just have one product in stock you have several you have several products have several. in stock and you're, you're actually into business yes. so my next question is this therefore daniel when and, and i want us to approach it from this from this perspective i mean mm -hmm. digital media has been viewed as a video on demand platform you go mm -hmm. there you're going to find good clips entertaining clips short clips mm -hmm. you just consume them as you go 
And do you think, therefore, that the companies that you've spoken to, and I want to talk about the ones that have paid, they even go online, you know, pay 300 shillings every day to Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, at the end of the day, you're not getting callbacks. Do you think that, therefore, that these ads that you're going to put online, they have to be entertaining to some way? Because we're talking about sure. digital media, we're talking mm -hmm. about video on demand, it's content on demand. You look at it, you move away. Do you think that that has been lacking from these companies? If you go to and you look at their, their ads and you go like, mm -mm, maybe this is a missing link. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, video works best yes. for most of the brands. Of late, it has worked very well. People going live on Facebook, live on Instagram, and also live on Twitter. But then going live on Facebook works best, and also Instagram. Yes. So telling a story, like you have a product, just tell a story about your product. Don't just go live on Facebook or live on Instagram or do a video promo, then post on. Tell a story. People want to know. People are tired of being told, come buy this cup. Uh, it's costing this. It's so cheap. It's the cheapest in the market. No. I need, I need a story about your product. So you need a story about the product. And then yes, when you talk story. about this story, therefore, mm -hmm. what story do you want this product or this company or this entrepreneur to tell? Um, first, do a market research. Mm -hmm. uh, what do people need? They want a cup. But what kind of cup do they want? We have so many companies uh, manufacturing cups. But what kind of uh, cups do people want? You, you know, uh, long ago, maybe t 10 years ago, people used to uh, get attracted to uh, a cup whereby when you put warm water, hot water, or maybe hot tea, yes. it changes an image, then uh, it changes. Maybe it was black without it water. Changes, it changes color to something different, doesn't it? Uh -huh. you with your spouse. Yes. Yes. You know, it, it used to attract people, you know, maybe three years, five years ago. But now, what do people want? Yes. You see? You need to change. That's what, that's the business you started five years ago. You need to change. You need to do a market research. Mm -hmm. Know what kind of uh, uh, what, what kind of designs do people want? Literally want what attracts them, so that you can enlarge your market. Because if people are tired of your same style of uh, cups or design uh, design of your cups, they'll move to. The latest one and that's why you see most of the markets from china and also from abroad they manufacture products well-designed product well-designed product and when it comes in the country it performs better mm -hmm. so how do you design if you uh if we are used to your same product now and then no changes i can stay with the same cup that my grandma Used to use, used to use all that time, it's, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's also in my yes, my yes. room. Uh -huh. No, I need I need something new, yes. something good. Okay, yeah. which which brings me to my next question. There for Daniel, mm -hmm. and you've spoken to them yes. for you when you look at the Kenyan market when it comes to digital media trends, mm -hmm. when it comes to understanding the ads that perform on digital media. Mm -hmm. What sort of ads would you advise at present now, we're in 2019, mm -hmm. would you advise somebody, an, a starting up entrepreneur, a business brand, someone, mm -hmm. which ones would work for them? What type of ads on digital media really work? Uh, photo works better, mm -hmm. followed by, sorry, video works better, yes. followed by mm -hmm. photos. Yes. And now, text. And text. But now, mm -hmm. if you have to put a photo, just don't just put a photo with one line. Mm -hmm. And are we talking about photos on Facebook or Instagram? Or when we look at Instagram, for, for example, mm -hmm. which is now known as a good, good platform for marketing as well for businesses mm -hmm. and, 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 and personal entrepreneurs, would you say that Instagram works, whether with, works better with videos or pictures? Um, okay. F videos works better on Facebook. On Facebook. Than on it? Instagram. Yes. Instagram works better with photo photos. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when you're choosing, uh, if you're doing videos, just use Facebook. Yes. It really works better. And now Facebook nowadays, uh, they have a feature by when your video is viewed by a certain number of uh, people, mm -hmm. it's suggested to more people. Yes. So you don't have to pay for that video. It gets suggested to more profiles. Yes. Because it's of your interest. Yes. Which brings me to the next question again mm -hmm. this morning. When you look at how your journey has been since you started preaching the, 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 the story of getting your brand out through digital media, mm -hmm. which trend do you think 
you can observe since you started this journey. Are companies more and more, therefore, accepting this or there is a trend somewhere that says, well, we got to do this and this before we go, before we go to digital media. Is, the, is digital media the first to go place nowadays for most companies? Yes, I yeah. can say yes. Mm -hmm. um, but when we started, uh, when I started like five years ago, it was really difficult convincing people, especially people uh, uh, that years and above, because they perceived social media are uh, uh, platforms are by past time, it's yes. a wastage of time. But now convincing them that you can advertise and get more clients on those platforms, it took time. You talk to a client today, and they'll give you job mm -hmm. after near. Or after nine, after nine, uh, after nine months, which is very interesting, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And, yes. What do you think? What do you, you think? Try you try convince what, you. Yes. Present your study cases and all that. You show the clients you worked for, the reports you've de uh, the jobs you've de delivered. Yes. But then they can believe because they believe uh, they think social media platforms are platforms to waste time. Yes. But now we are getting more people more managers, directors of CEOs mm -hmm. buying into social media because you can do a small, uh, uh, an advert with a small fee and get uh, a lot of people. Yes. You can uh, bring on board uh, influencers on social media mm -hmm. to boost your brand, uh, visibility, publicity, mm -hmm. and also to drive clientele yes. in your company and it's performing better. Yes. better. Because uh, initially we used to do the posting on Facebook, on Twitter, and all that. But now people have uh, changed that to use of uh, influencers. Just like in the US, uh, most of the companies are using influencers, whereby we have people being paid, um, I think Beyonce, being paid over per post, yes. being paid, I think, is it 100 million? Wow, or that's, a lot, that's a lot of money, isn't a it? A lot of money. And do you think this money. trend for influencers is actually taking over in the Kenyan scene? Yeah, sure, sure. We have different uh, different uh, uh, age brackets being used as influencers. We have teens, yes, uh, teens influencers. We have uh, you now the adults who are coming on board as influencers. We have comedians, but then I would advise that before a company employs an influencer, let them know that a comedian cannot. Uh, a comedian is an influencer. Mm -hmm. He has a following, or yes. she has a following, but then can they drive sales? That's you see, and we'll be, not and just we'll, any comedian. We'll be, can. Which, which was actually my next question. I will be saying that in most Kenyan advertising, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and brand pushing, we've seen comedians really get quite a good, a good chunk of yes. this cake. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you yes. think that works for or against these brands that are pushing through comedians? You, you, you need to do a research for a company needs to do a research to know yes. this comedian, what are the kind of people... Uh, what following does he have? Yes. What are they interested in? Are mm -hmm. they interested in cars? Yes. What does he normally talk mm -hmm. on his social media platforms? Mm -hmm. What does he always tweet? Yes. Is he tweeting about clothes? Is he tweeting about movies? Is he tweeting about uh, the latest trends in technology? Yes. Besides uh, doing comedy on TV? So if he's talking about uh, the latest trends in technology, then if you are uh, a, a, phone, uh, a smartphone company, in Kenya, then you can take that they're, person they're and go to, person, to come and it? influence because yes. mm -hmm. that will bring value to your value for your money. Yes. But, uh, if you bring an on board someone, an influ a comedian who is always posting about um, uh, clothes, and now you want them to talk about uh, banks, not so good at the end of the day. Isn't yes, it? Yes, 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 yes. So you need to do a background research. Mm -hmm. What influence do they have when they do post? What kind of people like? What kind of people retweets? What kind of people comments? Mm -hmm. After doing that research, then you can bring. Then you can actually board. bring in your influencer, isn't it? Yes. Daniel, my last question for you this morning is this: mm -hmm. um, You run your company that is Royal Trendia yes. for five years now. Mm -hmm. Tell me what your plans are and what you expect to see mm -hmm. from the company in the next five years. Uh, in the next five years, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be your ten-year anniversary, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. In the next five years, um, I would love to extend my boundaries yes. to at least cover Africa, the whole yes. of Africa. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've covered uh, Somalia. I've been to Somalia just doing social media. Yes. I've been to Kigali, Dar es Salaam, mm -hmm. and uh, Kampala. But yes. then now uh, to an extent to cover at least different countries, South Africa, Nigeria, and all that. So those are my plans, and um, I believe God will help me.
Congratulations, sir. And Thank it you. was my time to tell you congratulations for your word as well. Asante. We didn't get to talk about that because my director wants to kill me out of the studio. <laughs> anyway, Richie, you can take it away. This is Business I Am. My name is Simba Elijah Charles Kierke. Guess what? I'll meet you at 1 p.m. for Metropole News at 1. And then tomorrow for another edition of Business I Am. Good morning.